It's that time again. Today we're challenging ourselves to create three amazing fast and easy VFX in Premiere Pro. By following along, you will sharpen your overall Premiere Pro skills. So turn on your computer and let's launch Premiere. Effect number one, the growing building effect. First, find yourself a steady shot of a beautiful building like the Empire State Building. Now, to create this effect, we're gonna need to remove the building first. It's actually a lot easier than you think. In the timeline, hold down Alt and duplicate the video by dragging it one track up. Make sure the top clip is selected and go to the effect controls. Find opacity. In here, click the pen tool to create a mask. Go to the program monitor and draw a rough mask around the entire building. Then go to the middle of your mask until the hand tool appears. Drag the mask to the right until you find a spot with sky and land. Now we're gonna put this spot on top of the building. To do that, simply adjust the position property like this. Then of course feather the mask a lot to blend it in. If needed, you can again adjust the mask position a little. There you go, building's gone. This is one way to make the building disappear, but you can also use an export frame and use the Photoshop AI generative fill. I mean, it's really cool, but I'll leave that for another video. Speaking of Photoshop, Photoshop Basics has just been released with a ton of awesome videos, so definitely check it out. Now, to make the building appear again, duplicate the bottom video clip on top of the others. Make sure it's selected and head over to the effect controls. Again, click the pen tool to create a mask and head over to the program monitor. This time create an extremely precise mask around the building. Make sure there is no sky at the inside of the mask at all since this will ruin the effect. And now it's time to animate it. To do that, we're gonna use the transform effect to add motion blur. However, before we apply it to the clip, we're gonna nest it first by right clicking it and then choosing nest. If we don't, the effect will be applied to the inside of the mask and we don't want that. So now drag the transform effect on top of the top clip. Then in the effect controls, move the position property of the building all the way down. Then set a position keyframe. Move the play at approximately five frames further in time. You can use your arrow keys for that. Then move the position up a little bit. Next, move about 10 frames further in time and set another keyframe. Again, grab the play at and move five frames further. Then adjust the position so that the building becomes more visible. Keep doing that until it's completely visible. Now right click the first keyframe and choose ease out. Then on the second keyframe, choose ease in. Do this for all the keyframes. This will smoothen up the animation. Next, set the shutter angle to 180 degrees. This will introduce motion blur. Now, there's one more problem. The building doesn't really come out of the ground. It just jumps into the frame. To fix that, we're gonna find the crop effect and drag it on your clip. Then in the effect controls, select the crop effect and head over to the program monitor. In here, simply drag the bottom line up until it matches where the building starts. Now it looks like your building is spawning out of nowhere. Fun fact, I actually took this shot of the Empire State Building myself. I jumped on a plane and traveled all the way to Storyblocks to sponsor of today's video. Just kidding guys, on Storyblocks you can download over a million clips just like this in HD and 4K resolution. All of that without leaving Premiere because of the Storyblocks plugin. There's not a single project that I work on without using Storyblocks. Whether it's for stock footage, music, sound effects or templates, Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video. And so much more for just one predictable subscription cost. You don't have to pay an expensive price per clip ever again. Now, by choosing from thousands pre-made professional templates for Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve, you will take your videos to the next level and speed up your creative workflow a lot. Create better videos faster with customizable DaVinci Resolve templates. From motion graphics to animated sequences, they are essential to create professional looking videos at scale. Anything you download with Storyblocks is 100% royalty free, so nothing to worry about. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, go to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. Or just click the link down below. And now it's time to create a classic superhero landing effect. First, make a shot on a tripod of you jumping in the air and acting as if you're landing like a superhero. Then walk away and let the camera roll for a while to make an empty shot. Now in Premiere, you have two clips, one of you jumping and another empty. Drag the clip of you jumping on top of the empty shot. On the first clip, find a frame of the moment where you're coming down. Then set a cut and move the left clip away. Move the player to the end of the clip and extend it. Right click it and choose add frame hole. Now you can remove the first one and extend this one as long as you want because it's a freeze frame. Now you're just hanging here until the other clip starts. Next we're gonna create a mask around our cells in the frame hold. Select it and go to opacity. Then click the pen tool to make a mask and go to the program monitor. Create a simple rough mask around yourself like this. Now if we go to the timeline and disable the bottom clip you can see a masked out version of yourself. Next we're gonna animate it but before we do that right click your clip and 
and choose Nest. Otherwise, we'll animate the inside of the mask again. All right, to animate it, find the transform effect and drag it on top of your clip. Then with the clip selected, go to the effect controls. In here, make sure the playhead is at the last frame of your clip. Now set a position and scale keyframe. Go back to the playhead and move it back in time. Now you can scale down yourself just a little bit. That way it will look like you're coming from further away. Next, move yourself up by adjusting the position property. Go down a little and set the shutter angle to 180 degrees. That way you'll get motion blur. Now that already looks great, but when a superhero lands, the ground is supposed to shake, right? To do that, go to the project window and click the new item button. Choose adjustment layer. Once you have it, drag it on top of your video. Next, find the transform effect and drag it on the adjustment layer. Now go to the effect controls and move the player to the moment of impact. Now increase the scale a little. You'll understand why in a second. Next, set a position keyframe and adjust the position slightly but randomly. Then use the arrow keys to move a frame further in time and adjust the position again. Keep doing that for about 25 frames. But if you don't feel like doing that, I'll leave a link to our free earthquake pack for you guys. You can just drag the preset on an adjustment layer and that's all to it. You just turned yourself into a superhero. Effect number three, transform your video from day to night using only Lumetri. Simply open it up by going to the window menu on top and then find Lumetri color. Once it's open, expand the basic correction tab. When it's night, it's colder, so we're gonna add a little blue into the shot. And when it's night, less colors are visible, so decrease the saturation as well. Now decrease the exposure to make it dark. Then increase the contrast to make the blacks deeper and the whites more visible. You can emphasize on this even more by playing around with the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. Next, go to the creative tab and scroll down until you see the color wheels. In the shadow wheel, push some blue to make the dark areas in your video more cold. Then scroll down even more and open up the curves. Find the hue versus saturation curve. Click the pen tool and in the program monitor select the sky. Now we can decrease the blue selection color of the sky by bringing down its saturation. The sky is still a little too bright in my opinion and to fix that, go to the hue versus luma curves. Again, click the pen tool and select the sky in your video. Now you can bring down the lightness in the blue colors of your video, which makes your sky a lot deeper. Now that it's dark, we're gonna add elements of light into our video that will make it extremely realistic. To do that, go to Lumetri color on top and click on add new Lumetri effect. This will simply add a second effect to your clip. Now in the basic corrections, increase the orange tint just a little. Same for the exposure slider. Now the entire clip is bright again, but we only want the windows to be bright. To do that, go to the effect controls and go to the second Lumetri effect. Click on the pen tool and go to the program monitor. In here, draw a mask around one of the windows. Then go to the mask properties and increase the feather. If you want to lighten up another window, just click the pen tool again and create another mask. It's that simple. Now there's one more problem. The shadows caused by the sun are still visible. Now they could also come from a full moon, so why not add a moon to our sky? I actually found this clip of a moon on Starblocks with a black background. That will make it easy to blend in. Make sure it's selected and go to the effect controls. Click the motion properties and in the program monitor, scale and position the moon in your video so it matches the shadows. Now in opacity, find the blending modes and set it to add. That will remove the blacks and blend it in beautifully. To blend it even better, click the ellipse mask tool. It will position on the moon perfectly. Then adjust the mask expansion until the moon is completely visible. Then of course, play around with the feather. Next, we're gonna make the moon sit behind the house. To do that, duplicate the house clip on top of the moon video. Then select the clip and go to the effect controls. In opacity, click the pen tool. Then go to the program monitor and draw a small mask around the corner of the house. And there you can see the moon. This effect looks so beautiful and that means you have the knowledge to create an amazing day to night sky replacement right here in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.